we talk about weapons and equipments, mm -hmm. what has changed uh, since the summer fightings? What kind of equipment the rebels or the pro-Russian forces or the Russian forces, but we're talking about pro-Russian mm -hmm. forces mainly, what kind of weapons and equipment do they have now which they didn't have before? Uh, for, for, for our um, information, what we have, for our source of information, what we have, uh, they are trying to have uh, MLRS, it's called it, uh, BM21 Grad. Mm -hmm. Additional one, it's called it Smerch. They also are trying to have another auto automatic art artillery system, um, uh, SAW, Pion, and other one, which also keeping in our inventory, uh, but also what we are, it is Panzer, another system, MLRS system, which are more powerful than we could expect. It's firing uh, or shelling on the distance up to the 90 kilometers, not 15 or 20 like Grad. It is additional advantage for, for them, but uh, also for our expectation, they are giving uh, more uh, with humanitarian convoys, more shells, more routes for, for doing action in, in eastern part of Ukraine. So we can say that the conflict this time, in winter time, differs so much from the time, from the, from the summer Exactly, time for example, fighting. from sum, summer uh, time, we, we, we evaluated uh, presence of uh, Russian troops after 23rd, 21st of August, roughly two and a half and 3,000. Right now we have mm. roughly 9,000. It mm. is exactly increased 6,000 uh, people. But, I mean, how are you able to tell? Is that something you can share? I mean, is it satellite information? Is it something else? Is it Including something satellite information. Out? We have uh, images, picture from Lugansk, from Donetsk, we are getting information from our partners from NATO, EU channel, because we established good channel for security exchange information on a regular basis. It is uh, partly objective information, and we believe it, it is true. Plus, some uh, military equipments, hardware equipments, artillery, heavy equipments right now are stolen in some of the storages uh, of uh, Donetsk and Lugansk region. I mean, I ask it, because... And cover it, hide it from, uh, let's say, simple Ukrainians who can see that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ask because, you know, traditionally, if we're talking about World War II or tra traditional mm -hmm. warfare, you have a large number of soldiers, large number of tanks and other vehicles that are easier to identify from the air. They're in open area. They're not trying to hide it. Mm -hmm. um, the fighting we've had in the East, much of it has been less traditional. It's been smaller exactly. groups. Exactly. It's moved Agreed. quickly. And I mean, that's why I was curious, you know, how it can be identified. But from another angle, what have we changed? I mean, in terms of the Ukrainians, are they better equipped now? Have they received For more sure. systems? We've heard about, uh, I believe, these radar systems. Right. that they've gotten from Western partners to yes. try and identify artillery. Could you say anything about that? Uh, for, for, for the last couple of months, we are work very closely with our foreign friends uh, who are trying to support us with leather and non-leather equipment. Mm -hmm. Leather, it is still not on the agenda, but we are working with specific country. But what I mean, not leather, for example, it is um, a radio location station counter battery, mm -hmm. which we uh, have gotten uh, from the uh, U.S. It's very much effective tools in order to identify identify the artillery system and be more active and me, uh, be uh, more uh, to, to work in, in, in uh, advance, uh, to, not to wait until the, you will mm -hmm. receive shelling, but to stop it in, mm -hmm. in, 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 in uh, let's say, preliminary uh, stage. Also, we have received uh, some equipment which related uh, to uh, rations. Uh, uh, it is individual dry rations. We also received some uh, ammunition uh, like military, uh, BDU, uh, shoes. Uh, also, we received some tactical communication means which are very helpful. It is part of uh, communication line chain of command and we are with this kind of Western equipment uh, keeping our line of communication close to separatist mm -hmm. ter terrorists, what it was not on the beginning of the conflict, because we used to mm -hmm. the same 
of equipment or say, say type of equipment. Mm -hmm. And also we, we are receiving uh, uh, moral and political support via the NATO and EU channels. But has there been any lethal aid so far or is that no, just discussion? No, it is only discussion, only negotiation, but mm -hmm. I hope uh, that uh, Western politicians, Western military are thinking that we are based on our inquiries, which we have on the list. It is enough to stop, not to make f uh, full scale or broad scale, exactly. And uh, also the believe it, uh, and I completely support the, the, our Supreme uh, Commander that is, this operation could be resolved not only military means. Military means should support the political diplomatic resolution of this uh, situation in eastern part of Ukraine. Exactly on the scale or uh, decision with a Western politician that it is probably not time to give a lethal equipment or lethal weapons, what we're expecting. For example, if we would receive high uh, precision guided ammunition, for sure it would be easy to make a uh, uh, some uh, defensive operation as well as to do in advance uh, and not to give a uh build a, a big escalation of, of the situation. Well, and this is something that Poroshenko said many times, that it can only be resolved through diplomatic means. At the same time, though, we see more and more Ukrainians being affected by, by this war in the East, and we've yeah. had another wave of mobilization, which I believe is the fourth so far. Are you able to say anything about the conditions for the soldiers, how they're living, and maybe how that's changed since the summer as well? Uh, situation is improving. Improving, for my assessment, is tremendously. From time to time, uh, I mean, from uh, summertime until winter time, we improve uh, the living condition to, to in some areas. Some areas are still uh, difficult, but anyway, mood and uh, readiness of Ukrainian sol soldiers are showing uh, to, to fight uh, without kind of uh, utilities what we could have compared with Western uh, Sorry, difficult partners. in terms of living conditions? Living or conditions, yes. Like, um, like, like what could you specify? Uh, no, for, for, for example, uh, we are looking for the, uh, in the future Ukrainian armed forces, even right now, some mobile modules of mm -hmm. living, of washing and other stuff. Some examples are, but it's not covered entire troops what we uh, deployed in this mm -hmm. area. It should be improved and our um, uh, operational support command as well as uh, rear and uh, armaments uh, directorates are working on it, how to improve it. And also for the last uh, two and a half months as we have received from our military industrial complex uh, modernized and new piece of equipment. It is related to the tanks of Bulat, tank T-72. It is related to uh, Jaguar, uh, not Jaguar, it, uh, uh, some light uh, infantry vehicle, which we, mm -hmm. some of them are uh, been given our authority to OSCE mission in order to support their uh, the objectives. And also it is uh, aircrafts, it is uh, MI-8, MI-24 uh, helicopters. Also it is uh, BTR-3E, BTR-4E, what are mm -hmm. right now BTR-80, we receive it on the, in, uh, to, to the troops, exactly. Much, well, much better right now. I think that's all the time for we have now. Thank you yes. so much for joining us.